Iblis is an Asiatic lion, one of the planet's rarest animals. Iblis, the male, he's quite bulgy. He's a typical man, basically. A bit of a bully sometimes. <laughs> At the same time, he's a bit of a scaredy cat when it comes to certain aspects of what he should be doing. He is a good-looking lion. From our perspective, anyway, he's quite a, he's quite a handsome beast. He lives with nine-year-old lioness, Kumari. Kumari's quite intelligent. I kind of think in the animal kingdom, you know, the females are the ones that you have to watch out for because, like, lions, for example, it's the females that have to rear the cubs and do all the hunting, you know, so obviously they're going to be more intelligent than the males. Male lions are always stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Iblis and Kumari have been together for the last five years, but they failed to produce cubs. He's definitely still doing what he should, but she just doesn't seem to be very receptive towards him. And it may be that they've been together so many years that she maybe feels their relationship is more familial than, you know, sexual. In the wild, obviously, she could go and pick and choose in theory who she wants to be with. She could mooch around and move between areas and pick a meal that she quite fancies, really. Here, she's stuck with Iblis, whether she likes him or not, so <laughs> she hasn't really got a choice. There seems to be nothing physically wrong with the pair. Obviously, we've done fertility tests on Iblis and Kamari. You know, they should be able to make babies, but there's obviously something that's not right, and what that is, we, we don't know, really. There are less than 500 Asiatic lions left in the wild. The pressure is mounting on Iblis to perform. They're all in one place in India. They're protected, but if there was an outbreak of a disease or a natural disaster, it is entirely possible that the entire lot of wild lions could be wiped out in one go. So keeping a captive population is essential just in case, you know, as a backup. The keepers have now decided to intervene and give nature a helping hand. They're going to try injecting Kumari with a hormone, which should boost her fertility. She needs a bit of help stimulating her eggs being released. This is why you dart her at the peak of a season, and this drug should help that, but it has to be given at the right time, but the right time is kind of a bit of a guess. The drug needs to be darted into her flank. But this is a precarious procedure. Iblis is standing guard. He's one of the most dangerous animals that live here. It's a rude awakening for Kumari, but the injection isn't going to cause her any pain. The idea is we'll be able to stimulate Kumari so that she actually ovulates and she'll become pregnant and hopefully produce a few cubs in a few months' time. Only time will tell if the treatment will help this couple have cubs. It's two months since Kumari's hormone treatment and the keepers need to find out if it's worked. We take faecal samples from Kamari every day and they go to the analysts and they tell us whether she's pregnant or not, basically. This is the very glamorous part of the job. The samples should indicate raised levels of the hormone progesterone if Kamari's pregnant. 
But it's not good news. The team have drawn a blank. In the captive situation, they should breed. I mean, for example, the tigers, rare as they are, they're quite easy to breed in captivity. It is that it lines, lines them seem to be a little bit harder. There's obviously some behavioural aspect somewhere that is preventing it. It's almost like she'll go through a period of where she doesn't want to go anywhere near him, but he obviously can pick up on the signs, he'll smell all the, the hormones coming out of her and stuff, and she's not receptive. In their natural habitat, the females would choose only the strongest, most aggressive males to mate with. But Iblis seems to have stopped making an effort. It's a bit difficult in that setting, because in a captive setting, there's no other males, there's no real threat. So it's very difficult for him to prove himself, I think. And she wants a male that she knows will look after that pride. I think he sometimes needs to be a bit more out there and a bit more aggressive towards her. To make Iblis more attractive to Kamari, the keepers need to find a way to toughen him up and make him more like his cousins in the wild. Chester's male lion, Iblis, has failed to win the heart of lioness Kumari, and she's still not pregnant. It's all about being noticed in the animal kingdom. You've got to be noticed. In the wild, they are ripped, and they need to be, otherwise they wouldn't survive. If he's a small, weaker lion, he won't get anywhere with them. Females won't come anywhere near him. He's got to put on a bit of a scene, I think, to be honest, to be able to attract ladies. The keepers are starting to think that Iblis's comfortable life at the zoo, with a daily diet of steak, might be affecting his virility. He's not in the best shape because he's not having to hunt his food. Because we were just putting small joints in and they had one each, he's got no reason to be aggressive because he knows he's going to get a bit of meat. So they've come up with a plan. They're hoping that by hanging up carcasses for Iblis to tear down, he will become more muscular and impress Kumari. Putting bigger stuff in, he can show that he's dominant. He should prove to her that he's got a bit about him. Iblis's aim is to get the carcasses and try and keep them all to himself. The first carcass feed seems to have reawakened Iblis's natural instincts. Now we're giving them the carcasses, you know, being able to do different things with them, like tether them down, things like that. It's getting him to use all his muscles and get him fitter. He'd never shown any sort of behaviour like that before. He's got a bit more about him than I thought. And over the weeks, the keepers gradually leave larger and larger carcasses. You can see by lifting, bits of him are starting to firm up. It's a bit like a gym, really, because we can keep him physically fit in that way. Kumari is starting to show more interest in Iblis. It is changing behaviour slowly. It's not going to happen overnight. But the keepers have already waited five years for cubs with no joy. As part of the international breeding programme for the species, Iblis may have to be transferred to another zoo. So if it doesn't work and Kumari doesn't become pregnant, we might have to look at moving Iblis out and getting another male in and seeing if he can do the job. In the Asiatic lion's paddock, there appears to have been a change of heart. Mm. 
Iblis's new regime has made Kumari notice him once more. would be quite nice. It's been a long time coming and we all can't wait for the day that we can say, yes, she's pregnant and we've got babies. Mm -hmm.